Hey everyone and welcome to Light Sirens Action. Today you've tuned in on a Medication Monday. Medication Monday is a quick little mini series that airs every single Monday where we highlight a different EMS drug that's administered out in the field. And we do it specifically in EMT drug card format. But as always, please abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. This is never intended to be a replacement for professional medical advice. Today's medication is called the Duodote Auto Injector, and Duodote is actually a brand name for two different medications in one auto injector. The medications it contains are called atropine sulfate and pralidoxime. And I have actually done a video over atropine sulfate, so if you haven't watched it, click that link above. Before we get into it, let's just talk about why we give the Duodote Auto Injector and also kind of what's happening in the body. Your indications for the Duodote are going to be organophosphate poisonings, nerve agent exposures, and mushroom poisonings. So what happens in the body whenever your body's exposed to something like this? So this causes an excess of acetylcholine to be built up in the neuroaffector sites. This affects a ton of things because as we know, there are two types of acetylcholine receptors. There's the muscarinic, which affects your breathing and your GI function. And then there's the nicotinic receptors that affect your vascular function and your muscle movement. So whenever your body is exposed to something like this, all of that is affected. So we give the duodote to combat this. And the atropine comes in and it inhibits the action of acetylcholine at those parasympathetic neuroaffector sites. And then the pralidoxime comes in and it reactivates the cholinesterase, which allows for the destruction of accumulated acetylcholine. They work together. It really reminds me of kind of like an anaphylactic reaction. With anaphylaxis, we give epi to kind of take care of the symptoms before we give Benadryl, which solves the problem. So in this case, we give the atropine and it goes into those sites and it blocks the action of the acetylcholine. But then the pralidoxime comes in and it fixes the paralysis, the respiratory paralysis, the muscle paralysis by destroying all that excess buildup of acetylcholine at the neuroaffector sites. So this ultimately fixes the problem. Okay, let's go into doses. But as always, remember to abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. This is actually pretty easy because it is an auto injector. It's already um, measured out for you. You're not drawing anything up. Your atropine portion will be 2.1 milligrams in an IM auto injector. And then your pralidoxime will be 600 milligrams IM in an auto injector. So this is one injection. Even though it's two drugs, it just goes into different parts of the, of the muscle itself. This is not recommended in pediatrics. Your contraindications, obviously, Obviously, you're probably not going to know this, but known hypersensitivity. Adverse reactions are going to be dizziness, drowsiness, dried mucous membranes because the atropine obviously dries you out, headache, muscle rigidity, and muscle weakness. And those two specifically come from the pralidoxime. How it's supplied. It is 2.1 milligrams of atropine in a 0.7 ml solution and 600 milligrams of pralidoxime chloride in a 2 ml solution. And like I said, that's one injection, but it goes simultaneously into different portions of the muscle. Your drug interactions, you want to avoid use of pralidoxime concurrently with sucks. And sucks, if you don't already know, is a paralytic. A few side notes about the Duodo. If you've been in EMS for any amount of time, you've probably heard of the Mark 1 kit. And the Mark 1 kit contains the exact same thing. It has your protopam or your pralidoxime and your atropine. There's a couple of differences about it in the Mark 1 kit, there's only two milligrams of atropine, whereas in the Duodote, there's 2.1. But also in the Mark 1 kit, there's two separate auto injectors. So to avoid a lot of confusion, some EMS services have gone to the Duodote because it's only one injection. Pralidoxime should only be given in conjunction with atropine. If you've watched my past atropine video, you know that you don't necessarily have to have the pralidoxime to administer the atropine for organophosphate poisonings. Your Duodote 
workout will not work for the pesticides of the carbamate class. Cardiac monitoring should be considered in all cases of severe organophosphate poisonings. And obviously the heart is affected, but atropine has a lot of effects on the heart. So if you're on a call and you're able or your partner's able to hook them up to 12 lead or four lead monitoring, that is always encouraged. If your patient is seizing because of the poisoning, it is recommended to give them a benzo, specifically uh, Valium or Diazepam. Remembering the mnemonic sludge in identifying a case of organophosphate poisoning is crucial. So if you're unsure if your patient is suffering from this, are they salivating? Do they have tears? Are they urinating, defecating? Do they have stomach cramps or stomach pain? Are they throwing up? These are all very important variables that indicate the patient could be suffering from organophosphate poisoning, along with unconsciousness, seizing, paralysis, things like that. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, please remember to abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. This is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of local protocol or formal education. Thank you guys so much for listening, and I will see you next Monday. Bye.